this is Gillian from Pro Tools Expert, and I've been looking at Modular from Softube. I've always fancied a modular synthesizer, but I've never been able to justify the purchase. But luckily, there are software alternatives available for people like me. So if you want to scratch that particular itch, then this is definitely something that you want to look at. When you first open Modular, you'll be presented with an empty Euro rack, and you can fill that with any of the modules that ship with it. There's been collaboration between Softube and Dopefa, and by default, uh, and straight out of the box, you'll get a range of Dopefa modules, oscillators, filters, modulators, like envelope generators, LFOs, stuff like that, and lots of useful kind of bread and butter utility bits that you might need. For example, mixers, sequencers, uh, some good utility modules, but also, and importantly, the modules you need to get it to speak to your DAW with a sync module and your MIDI controller keyboard with a MIDI to CV module. There are also some other modules available, apart from things like uh, these performance panels that you can control other parts of modular with using those and build your own custom interfaces. Uh, there are optional extras, things like these modules from Heartbeat and these ones from IntelliGel. Also, interestingly, you can link straight to buy hardware from Dopefa if you want to. To get to know Modular quickly, I recommend going into the presets. There are loads of really good presets to show off how nice this thing sounds. But I recommend starting off with these ones at the bottom, the tutorials. The first tutorial patch is about as simple as you can get. It's a VCO feeding into a VCF uh, controlled by uh, an amplifier and envelope generator. They become more complex. This one, for example, introduces synchronizing to your DAW and using a sequencer. Although, like a real modular, it's monophonic, you can fake polyphony, like in this patch. In a short review like this, I'm not gonna run through all of the presets. If you wanna do that, download the demo. But I thought I'd follow my nose and just build a patch and see where it went. And uh, yeah, what I've done here is I've just using a beat sequencer, to sequence a kick and a snare, which I've synthesized very simple patches, just using a, a pitch envelope to, um, to modulate a sine wave on the kick and just uh, some filtered noise for the snare. And then down here, what I've got is I've built a little sequenced section, uh, a three oscillator bass patch uh, that's controlled by this sequencer, but also is controlled by this uh, this MIDI to CV module so that I can trigger the sequence, but I can change the root note of it by changing keys on the keyboard. And down here, that's what the CV mixer module is doing. It's mixing together the control voltage from the keyboard with the control voltage from the uh, sequencer. <laughs> I'm sure you get the idea. So what do I think of Modular? I think Modular is endlessly brilliant. If you want off-the-shelf sounds that just fit into a track quickly and straight away, this probably isn't the way to go. The whole point of a Modular synthesizer is that you're building your own sounds from the ground up, and it's an education, and it's, uh, it's an end in itself sometimes. Unlike a hardware Modular synthesizer, you can store your patches, which is certainly a big advantage, on the downsides, my only real criticism of this would be that interaction with it isn't as immediate or as much fun as with a physical modular synthesizer. Of course it isn't. Uh, specifically for Pro Tools users, it's a real pity that this doesn't support MIDI Learn. That's a real shame just because the whole point of a synthesizer is to interact with it with two hands and you can't do that from a MIDI controller. However, if you're using a control surface in Pro Tools, I think this would be absolutely brilliant. And I've certainly had a great deal of fun using things like the, the virus on TDM systems with a, an icon. And that's brilliant. And I can only imagine that that would be fantastic in this. I, however, don't have a hardware control surface at home. I've only got a MIDI controller. And that's why I'm, I'm saying that this doesn't work as well in Pro Tools as it does in other DAWs. 
In terms of sound, I think it's glorious. And in terms of depth, you can do anything that you can think of and lots and lots of things that you hadn't thought of yet. So if you want to get into modular synthesis, have a go on modular. I've been Julian. I'll see you next time.